So once you have your Fusion profile set up, what you want to do is go back into Manage Profiles, go to the profile that you're not using and just go ahead and disable it. That comes as a default to the operating system on the MC92N0. This is the Windows Mobile version, but the CE7 version will look very much the same. So here and then we're going to go in and optimize our Fusion options. So what we want to do, if we're not using ad hoc, we want to uncheck it and press save. Okay, And then the regulatory. So we'll want to uncheck 802.11d if we're not working in a com within an infrastructure that supports 802.11d. These devices are sold internationally and in Europe this option is used quite a bit. Here in the United States we're just going to uncheck it. Um, the device will um, under band selection. So if you watch the other video on channel optimization for the MC92N0, you'll see that we have optimized our channels already. If you have not, please make sure to view that video and optimize your channels. So we're just going to use the 5 gigahertz band, so we'll uncheck the 2.4. So I'm going to press save here. And we'll next option, we'll go system options. So we want to uncheck this auto time config. Unless you're using this with a Motorola infrastructure and you're using an EAP type authentication, it's better to uncheck this. Normally this is used to get time from the access point for EAP authentication against Active Directory or whatever radius you're authenticating against. But if you're not using it, you can go ahead and uncheck it because it just adds unnecessary overhead to the wireless packets. So we'll save. And that's pretty much it for optimizing this. What we're going to do is we're going to export this now. So we're going to export both the wireless profiles as well as the wireless options. We're not doing any certificates in this instance or any packs. And then one thing to note is you want to check the box that says overwrite conflicting records. That means when the device is, does a clean boot, it will re-import these wireless settings. And it also means you can take this file and copy it to other devices in the application directory where this is going to be put, Fusion Export, we'll just save it. So we'll say OK here. And then what we'll do is we'll look on our device. So under Application, here's the export. So if you're to do a clean boot, and you can see that in some other videos, you'll see this, this you can put this in this application folder, and once it on a different device and once it is clean booted those settings will import onto the device and it's good for staging. You can send it to many devices instead of having to manually configure it. So if I select option or fusion and say wireless status we can go in and see you know, our signal strength and various things. We're connected very good IP status and then versions are in here so that's always good to know as well.